Hello, this is Karsty with theywearamask.com. Uh, I'm just putting together a quick video to go over an idea that I had. Uh, figured I'd share it with the YouTube community and Reddit and my website and everywhere else where you guys, you know, might want to listen or read this stuff. Uh, if you follow my website, you've probably seen my writings before about simulation theory uh, in a nutshell. I believe that what we're experiencing currently as reality is um, not a game, not a simulation, um, but a, a, an intelligence growing. Um, let's say in the distant future, uh, creatures like us want to create an intelligence, an awareness, uh, something capable of of feeling like a human but thinking like a computer. So they uh, they create a, a machine that is part neural network, part standard computer. On the standard computer they write some code that essentially simulates reality as they know it or as we know it now. Um, that, that simulation code is then uh, run on the standard computer side while they take the neural network and embed it in that simulation code. Uh, and then let's say they run that simulation with the neural network embedded. Uh, let's say they run it through thousands and thousands, maybe millions of iterations. Um, you know, in the neural network's experience, that might be millions or billions of years. Uh, in their world, it might be just seconds. Uh, and to them, they're simply calibrating a machine. To us, we're experiencing every potential human timeline that's ever occurred. Um, the end goal, of course, being that maybe one day the neural network finally understands or realizes that that's what's really going on and it transcends its code. Um, so that's that's the idea in a nutshell. I've written a lot about it. Um, I do a lot of thought experiments with that in mind. So if that kind of stuff interests you, feel free to check out my website. Uh, again, that's www.theywearamask.com they wear a mask. Um, it's kind of a metaphor, a, a play on words for my ideas on reality. Um, anyway, so the idea that I had today was along those lines, uh, but I was thinking about novelty theory. I was thinking about some of these theories about retcons or Mandela effect events. Um, the fact that time seems to be kind of speeding up, uh, a lot of a lot of different little variables, and some of them are really woo-woo kind of stuff, and some of them are are kind of scientific hard evidence stuff that's still just a little weird. Um, but anyway, so I was thinking about time, and I was thinking about these changes or or uh, manipulations of what's normal that people have been reporting over the last few years. Uh, and I was thinking about how if you ran a machine like this, uh, you could only code the simulation side of it uh, so far into the future. Because, I mean, if we were going to build this here, uh, we can't predict 2,000 or 5,000 or 10,000 years from now. So. We could code the simulation up to, say, the year 2018, but beyond that, we don't really know what's going to happen. So at some point, the neural network would take over code generation. Um, and so things might get a little wonky at that point. Things might start moving a little quicker. Things might start changing drastically. You might end up having dramatic rewrites of timelines or the, the simulation code. Um, you know, it's been talked about in novelty theory, it's, uh, Terrence McKenna talked about it a little bit, uh, time's getting a little fuzzy, and it's hard to detect because it's subtle, um, but if you look, you'll see it, and I think maybe 
that's what we're witnessing uh, is the neural network taking over future code generation because there is no more substrate, no more base code uh, for it to build on. It has to create new code, new substrate, uh, using what it knows. So anyway, that's it. Just a quick share. I gotta get off to work. Uh, but again, if you guys want to talk further, check out my website. I'm always looking for additional writers if you want to join as well. Thanks for listening.